Good evening. On this September 11th, we are gathering from various places in the world to join New York Zendo and commemorate 52 years of vigorous Rinzai Zen practice. And we are remembering the nearly 3,000 people who perished on this date when planes hit two thousand one, and we have Ehi on the altars here at New York Sendo and at Daibosatsu Sendo. And so we sit deeply aware of the lives lost, not only that fateful day 19 years ago, but just since the beginning of 2020, about 33,000 people in New York City alone have died from COVID-19. Then, and now, this endo, this city, this Sangha. New Yorkers, resilience, perseverance, and great determination. Indeed, there is no better way to commemorate Shoboji's 52nd and lives lost than joining our minds together the meaning of session to observe these losses and to rededicate ourselves to the four great vows. Many of you were in New York in 2001 and remember what you were doing that day. Many were elsewhere and felt the great shock. In Syracuse, we were sitting in the Zendo the morning of September 11th. We heard what had happened 
And a little while later, Doshin, David Schubert, and I started working with stones and created a waterfall and pond outside the Zendo as a memorial. The mossy rocks, the limestone slabs seem to call each other into place. Our hands merely lifted and lowered, listening in the great silence. And then we turned on the water and heard it splash over the ledges into the pool. And 19 years later, it continues to commemorate these lives. A few days later, I remember I felt I had to go to Manhattan to offer incense and chanting. I drew some brushwork Buddhas and wrote, may peace and compassion prevail on each. And then went with Jikishi, Celia Euler, down from her apartment to Union Square. As you may remember, that park had become a temple. One huge shrine with many altars. It was raining. Poster after poster name after name, description after description, all with one word, missing, missing, missing. Candles everywhere flowers and offerings, peace signs. We lit incense and chanting Daisagaki. We began taping the Buddha, the Buddha pictures to chopsticks and placing them at all four directions of the park chanting, kanzeong, planting Buddhas. And so many people were there praying, walking, and bowing at these shrines. And then we went back to the beginning and we heard a sound of a drum. And I was ringing my bell. And there was a nun, a Buddhist nun, chanting, Nam Myo Renge Kyo. And we joined in chanting and offering this one mind. And that is what we are here for. 
19 years later, 52 years later, to offer ourselves to the Dharma and to respond to the sound of the bell, the sound of the drum, the sound of this silence. So let us with great fervor realize the transiency of life and the urgency of our practice.